So today we're on set for our beauty shoot with Madison Pettis and Alan, who's doing Hello. makeup today. Um, Alan's a big celebrity makeup artist here in Hollywood. He's been working with lots of names like Sarah Island and Madison as well. But today we're going to do a bit of a, a glass story. It's going to be all about looking through the windows and looking through reflections of mirrors. So it should be a fun so shoot. Yeah. So what are we going to do here with the makeup today? Okay, so today for Madison we're going to focus on a red lip because her skin tone is really complementary to that perfect red. Fantastic. To complement that red lip, we're going to do a smoky eye, but not just a regular black smoky eye. We're going to do something with sort of like a metallic charcoal gradated into like a silver, just to make it more young and youthful and not as dark. Perfect. I'm basically blending eyeshadows um, from like light to dark from the center of her eye to the corner. And I am just flicking that corner out to shape her eye a little bit. So for the lips, are you thinking like a glossier red or a matte, like deeper red? Well, if it's based off that Vogue Paris cover, it was a glossy lip, but I think we're gonna have to kind of determine once we get it. Once you on. see the eye, yeah, yeah. yeah. Compete with it. And see, yeah. So how do you do multiple layers of mascara without it looking chunky? Well, after you curl the lashes, then you go over it with um, a first coat of mascara, and then you go back in and you comb it, and then go back in and add a second coat. And I can add up to like six coats, and it'll still look really, really like light and fluttery, but have maximum volume and, and length. Okay, so the main focus of the story today is the strong red lip. and. The biggest problem with a red lip is having it not go anywhere. So Alan, do you have any tips on creating the sharp line and having it not bleed? Yeah, um, an easy solution for it is just to use lip liner. That'll help with feathering around the lip and um, it will also uh, just define the lip a little better. And do you always apply the lip liner first before the lipstick? I always apply the lip liner first, and sometimes even for a red lip, I don't always use a red lip liner. I just kind of want it to be a little sharper and um, sort of deeper on the outline of the lip, but sometimes I use a nude lip liner. Well, she looks absolutely beautiful, and the makeup's gorgeous. Thank you. So thanks for sharing your tips with us today, Alan. Thanks, you guys, for having me. And I'm sure the photos are going to be absolutely stunning. <laughs>